Let's play nicely. Over 40 poker players came to Monte Carlo from every walk of life. Was that a moth that flew out of Daniel's chips? Actors, singers, sportsmen, and a dozen of the world's most famous card sharps. I promise, I'm just gonna call blind. I time myself. Just nine players remain, only one can win. The proceeds go to charity, but the title and the bragging rights will last forever. This is PokerStars.net, anti up for Africa. I'm on it. Is there anything you know how to say these days? Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> An event that began in Las Vegas now makes its debut in Europe. The brainchild of actor Don Cheadle, anti F for Africa, has already raised over $2 million for the humanitarian crisis in Darfur and is supported by a host of A-list celebrities. More money for this good cause has been raised here and cards are already in the air. We've raised over 250,000 euros here today for anti up for Africa. So for the nine players remaining, it's not the money that's at stake, but it is bragging rights and a title, so it could get nasty. Before we begin, though, let's catch you up on what's been happening so far. Players from every side of celebrity life came to play, and some were more successful than others. Among those whose bark was worse than their bite were musicians Christina Milian, The Dream, and Nelly. Hey, yo, what up? It's your man, Nelly. I want to say welcome to Monte Carlo. Not like I own the place, but it's cool. There were megastars from the American screen, Sex and the City's Jason Lewis and James Kyson Lee, a.k.a. Ando from Heroes. There was a racing driver, a host of footballers, a gymnast, and, of course, a collection of the world's best poker players. But 34 are gone. Just nine remain. In seat one, 23-year-old Dario Minieri is one of poker's young guns, super aggressive and super successful. Seat two is John Duffy, a European poker legend, founder of the EPT and one of the world's finest cash game players. Next to him in seat three is Patrick Shen, a French journalist, writer and presenter. Shen's compatriot Sebastian Chabal is in seat four, one of international rugby's most famous faces. Seat five is Luca Pagano, the most successful player ever on the EPT. Tony G is in seat six. The Australian was a child Rubik's Cube champion and as an adult has made many millions at the poker table. In seat seven, Daniel Negreanu is probably poker's most famous face, a serial winner and as entertaining as he is successful. In seat eight, Teddy Sheringham won everything there is to win in English football and is proving to be as deadly at the poker table as he was in the opposition's penalty box. And in seat nine is Isabelle No Mercy Mercier, a French Canadian and one of poker's top woman players. This is going to be a final table to remember. Good evening and welcome to Monte Carlo. This is Alexander Armstrong in the booth, and I'm joined by David Tuckman. I'm tempted to say, Awawa Wiwa. You know exactly. You took the words out of my mouth. I'm actually quite uh, excited about this. We've got six professional poker players, three amateurs. It's a great mix, and they're all chasing this man, Daniel Negrano. He is the chip leader by far. Now I'm, just probably, I'm probably just going to call Chop blind. Friendly. You know what I'll do? I'm t I haven't looked. I swear. I promise. I'm just going to call blind. Really? He's calling blind. Do you know? I bet that's. I bet it's still a good hand. 98% of my range. Go ahead, do your thing. Go ahead, let's play. Teddy I don't Sharon. think it makes a difference. It's Daniel Negreanu we'll against at, Teddy Sheringham. I'm going to look at one after the flop. Now, if this was the pitch instead of the felt, uh -huh. Sheringham might have a chance. Nine, six, three. <laughs> wow. Eight of diamonds, three of diamonds, two, right? nine of hearts. Nine, six, three. He predicted the flop. Well, is it okay if I look at the other one? Because I don't really have anything yet. Got 66.6% okay. .6 right. Check. He's looked. Queen, seven. Queen seven. She knows your little top. So, oh. I'm going to bet now. Queen of spades on the turn. I'm going to bet uh, 4,800. I should have done it without 4,800. Wow, I was never going to fold because I had mm. queens and a flush draw, and this is considered a pretty good hand. Teddy very pretty. Indeed, <laughs> a, a very good hand. He flops a flush draw. He turns top pair, and he's giving Teddy Sheringham some free lessons. 
think Teddy knows what a good hand is, Daniel. The former footballer knows what he's doing. It's poker pro heavy this final table. Even though it was a rapid structure, the better players have made it to the end. But Sebastian Chabal and Teddy Sheringham are both competitive chaps. They'll fight as hard as they can for their tournament lives, even though it's for charity. And a worthwhile cause it is too. The situation in Darfur is very dire. Um, over uh, to date, there's been um, 300,000 people murdered and three million displaced, living in refugee camps. So it's a very desperate situation that's getting worse by the day, and it's definitely a situation that requires our attention and efforts. The money we raise goes to um, it's spent in two ways. One is uh, through relief, uh, humanitarian aid, so food, medicine, and shelter, and the other half is spent through advocacy, so building awareness um, with governments and the general population about the issues and um, shining a light on the issue. So we get to see a fantastic final table in the knowledge that it's all being done for a very worthy cause. You know, it wasn't too long ago that people used to consider poker almost a game of degenerates. To see how far it's come, it's really amazing. There's Dario Maneri. I, I was tempted to say he was a uh, a youngster, being only 24, but that uh, that's middle age in poker terms, isn't it? It is these days. Well, a couple of pros are going to lock horns in this one. It's a battle of the blinds, and Dario has got the best of it right now. Nine of spades, six of spades, ten of clubs. Isabel bets 8,000. That's not going to stop Isabel from betting here, and it's a nice bet. You know, she leads out at, at her opponent and takes it down. It, it's one of the reasons why she's the most one of the most feared poker players out there. Yeah, but she doesn't scare me. It's a collection. Welcome back to Monte Carlo for Anti Up for Africa. It's poker's chance to make a difference, and more than 40 assorted poker pros and celebrities entered to do their bit. It's not the poker, it's the application of the event. You know, any business is there to make money, and you know, the fact that these people are being generous enough to take their business and help apply it to something decent is great. So can poker change the world? If you use it like that, it could. I'm so glad that they brought it out to Europe for the first time. I mean, you know, Las Vegas is fun, but do it in Monte Carlo, you know, they just took it up a notch, so it's great. It's so fun to be here, and uh, I think it's gonna be an awesome time to me. Yet. You want to do a heads up. So the blinds have gone up. This is getting quite an expensive game, David. It is, and with blinds at this level, with nine players remaining, it's going to be time for some of these players to start making a move. The blinds are at a level as such that you're not going to see too much post-flop play. I'm just battling all day. Teddy Sherry looking quite good. King and queen, suited and booted. He does the right thing. He raises it up. Sebastian, he's going to raise all in. And the caveman sticks all his chips in the pot. And it's, it's, it's the proper move here. Unfortunately for him, he's, he's walked into a couple of ladies. Mm. And I think it's an easy call for Pagano. He might even re-raise to shut out sharing him. And he does that. He moves all in. Exactly, he moves all in there to shut out sharing him. And it is a pretty easy fold. King, queen suited. It's a nice hand to raise with, not a great hand to call two all ins. Pucks it up. up. <laughs> <laughs> but can Sheringham fold now? I mean, he's in 8,000. Well, he's already, he's still got another 30,000 behind. I think it's, it's a relatively easy fold, actually. Now, if both players were to turn their hand over, he might actually call because he's got live cards, but he doesn't know that. And he throws his hand mm. in the muck, and I think it's the correct play. Caveman have a lot of trouble here. <laughs> Luca has Sebastian covered with the red queen. Sebastian has the ace of hearts and the nine of spades. Let's see the flop. Flop is four of diamonds, jack of diamonds, deuce of spades. So that's looking good for Pagano. Yeah, Shabal's tournament life on the line right here. With the diamond in his hand with the queen. Let's see the turn card. 
Turns the ten of diamonds. Oh, it's an ugly card. Sebastian Three diamonds Sebastian out there.